Six female juveniles arrested in connection to a riot at a Madison County Youth Psychiatric Facility. Authorities say the young girls damaged the facility, equipment inside, and even a police car. And now local leaders are calling on the business to close its doors. Way 31 reporter Paige Meyer joins us live now from Pathway of Madison County. Paige, you spoke to the police chief about this incident. Yes, Pathway of Madison County here has until October 1st to shut down their doors. That's ordered by both the Owens Crossroads mayor and police chief. Now, police chief Jason Dobbins says they're doing this and they are pulling the business's license. This is after they tell me that they've received roughly four to six calls a week about Pathway's facility. Now, I reached out to Pathway today. However, they declined to comment. Now, Chief Dobbins says the riot broke out around 8.30 last night. The chief tells me the juveniles busted glass doors and windows, broke computers, destroyed office furniture, and caused damage to one of the buildings. Now, I'm told an employee even had a cut on her face, but thankfully there were no further serious injuries. Now, all six female juveniles arrested were transported to Neves Davis Juvenile's Detention Center. A man who lives on the same road as Pathway tells me this is a very common occurrence. He says the facility has changed names several times, but has seemingly not changed how they run their operations. What went on last night with that heavy of a police presence, yeah, I would think uh, the problem seems to be escalating. All six females are being charged with criminal mischief in the first degree in rioting. One is being charged with destruction of property after the police chief says she damaged one of the officer's vehicles. Now again, Pathway here has until October 1st to shut down their doors. Now coming up on Way 31 News at 5, you'll hear more about the actual events that happened here uh, with one of the neighbors that experienced it directly. But for now, reporting live in Owens Crossroads with coverage you can count on. Paige Meyer, Way 31 News.